ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough. Uh -huh. Can I tell you who the priest is? Uh -huh. Your pastor. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read it again. All right. And the first of all the first fruits of all things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblations, shall be the pastors. Uh -huh. You shall also give unto the pastor uh -huh. the first of your dough, Amen. that he may cause the blessings Amen. to rest in thine house. Your pastor right. is going to cause the blessings right. to rest in your house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you want to sow into your man and your woman of God. Amen. 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 You want to be a continual sower and a giver into their life. Amen. Because you can't go in if they don't go in. Amen. And your blessing is tied to your man and your woman of God. Glory to God. Everything that you need is wrapped up in your pastors. Amen. And I want to show you an illustration. If you'll come down here with me, Bishop. I want to show you an illustration. Hallelujah. Everything that you need. Come on, first friend. It's wrapped up in these two. Come on, over here with me. And as a member of New Beginnings Community Church, what you want to do is you want to sow into them. Because when you sow into them, you push them. Okay. Amen. And if you push them, they go into the next level. Right, right. So I'm going to sow a little bit more into them because I want to push them right, right. to the next level. Yeah. Now, they go into the next level. Right. But guess who also going to the next level? Yeah. Why go with them? Because I'm pushing. Glory to God. And every time you go into your man and woman of God, you pushing them to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can see it. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. You want to go to your man and woman of God. Amen. Glory to God. Because every time you bless your pastors, you blessing yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because every time you push them, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. They're moving. And yeah. you're moving yeah. to the next level. Amen. Yeah, that's good. Hallelujah. And so this weekend is their appreciation. Hallelujah. And so I want to encourage you, members of Fear Gospel, to sow into your man and your woman of God. Yes. And appreciation is a time to appreciate. Right. And to appreciate means anything that you appreciate should go up in value. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it. Anything that you appreciate should go up in value. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Right. And, and at, at New Beginnings, what we do is we um, we set a goal Amen. for every family to sow into my life. Amen. 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 Glory to God. So I want to encourage you, Bishop, to set a goal Amen. for your members to sow into your life Amen. and your wife's life. Amen. Find out what size suit the first lady wear. Go buy a suit. Find out what size shoes she wear. Yeah. Go buy some shoes. Yeah. Glory to God. Find out what size suit the bishop wear. Yeah. Buy them a suit. Yes. And I ain't just talking about buying them clothes. I'm talking about sewing into their lives yeah. monetarily. Yeah. Yeah. Put money in their hand. We used to call it a, what they call it, Pentecost handshake. Yeah. You know, and don't go up to your bishop talking about this just a little bit. Uh, yeah. It's just a little yeah. something. Uh -uh. Little something. You know. Every seed is significant. Amen. Every seed That's is right. significant. Right. Amen. Because I remember uh, Minister, Minister Stephanie, when she came to New Beginnings Christian Center, amen, she would sow um, according to what she had. Amen. amen. Right. And so she gave, and she gave to Pastor Luther. Every time she get, got paid, she gave an offering to Pastor Luther. Amen. And so, and, and then, you know, as she got increased, she increased her offering to Pastor Luther. And then when um, when she got a better job, amen, she increased her offering to Pastor Luther, and she started blessing me amen. as her first lady. Not as her pastor, right. but as her first lady at that time. Right. You know, and then um, she got another increase, so she started sowing more into our lives. Amen. You know, so I want to encourage you that as God bless you, bless your man and your woman of God. Amen. amen. And you should appreciate them all the time. Not just once a year. Amen. Not just once a year. But you should bless them all the time. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's true ministry. Is that the name of your church? Same thing for you. Amen. Glory to God. Bless your pastor. Bless your pastor. Amen. Glory to God. 
glory to God. So like I say, this weekend is their appreciation. And anytime we appreciate something, we want to increase the value of it. Amen. So when you sow into your pastor, you increase the value. Now, can I tell y'all this? Because I know a lot of church students are here. Appreciation time. We have an appreciation. We do everything with the money, but give it to the pastor. Mm. It's their appreciation. There should be no need for, unless it's a check that's going through the church, there should be no need for the money to go through the church to give to them. It's their appreciation. Amen. Amen. So you're appreciating the pastors, not your God. That's right. Amen. So that money is supposed to be theirs. That's right. For them to do what they please right. with. That's right. Amen. Amen. Not to, and I know a lot of times, I know our pastors are because I do it. Let me give y'all an example of what I'm saying. And I'm not just telling y'all to do something that I don't do That's right. or to live a way that I'm not living. We started out uh, some years back. We decided we were going to do more for the kingdom. We had listened to... Um, Crenshaw Christian said Apostle Fred Price. We had listened to him minister one night, and so he, he was at Dr. Mitchell's church, Michael Mitchell. And uh, we had listened to him minister, and he said that um, what he does is um, he and his wife, they gave 35% of their income back to the ministry, you know. And so at that time, we were only sowing 10%, you know, doing our tithe and giving an offer. And so um, when we came home that night, both Pastor and I, you know, just it was impressed upon our hearts to increase our heaven and to the kingdom. So we increased 12%. And from 12% to 15%. And from 15% to 17%. This is what we were given into the kingdom. From 17%, we went to 20. From 20 to 25. From 25 to 30. From 30 to 40. From 40 to 50. And right now, everything that comes into my life, 51% of it goes back into the kingdom. Amen. And I live off the 49%. Amen. I'm showing you how to get blessed. Yes. Amen. And this is how I live. Yes. You know, so everything that I get in my hands, I sow 51% back into the kingdom. I'm not telling you to go all the way up to 51%. I'm telling you to start somewhere. Amen. Sow an extra seed. Amen. Because the more that you sow, the more you receive. That's right. Glory to God. And you can't receive something that you're not sowing. That's right. You can't receive something that you're not giving. Amen. You know, and every time you get paid, your pastor ought to get paid. Amen. Every time. That's right. And so you say, well, how my pastor ought to get paid every time I get paid? By you. That's right. Someone into their lives. Someone into their lives. Every time you get a paycheck, your pastor should get paid. That's right. There should be a space on your giving envelope for you a special seat. That's right. For your wife a special seat. And the members should sow into you. Your pastor should be considered good ground in your life. Amen. And so if your pastor is considered good ground in your life, you ought to sow into what is good ground. That's good. That's right. That's good. Amen. And so we can't be we can't be selfish and, and not want to sow into our man and our woman of God. <clears throat> Amen. Because they are, God's word is in their mouth for us. Amen. Amen. And so a lot of times, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you an example. A lot of times if you um if you're a Wall Street type person, you know, you do with the stocks and all that stuff, you pay attention to that stuff. That's you get your newspaper every morning. And when you get your newspaper, the first thing you do is go to the stock section. That's right. Because you want to see what your money is doing. Right. It should be the same way with your pastors. Yes. You sow into your pastors, you should be watching. All right. Watch my pastors. Because I'm sowing into them. They're an investment. I got to watch them. Everything they do, you should be watching. Amen. Everything they do, you should be watching. Because they're an investment in your life. Yes. And you ought to see them as an investment in your life. Yes. I wouldn't sit under somebody I didn't believe in. I wouldn't sit under somebody I didn't trust. Yes. So I want to encourage you tonight. Yes. Amen. To sow into your man and woman of God. To appreciate them. Yes. On a continuous basis. Not just once a year. But con continually appreciate them. Show them that they're valued. Yes. 
Show them that they're valuable to you. Yes. Amen. So into their life. God, God wants your pastor and your first lady, amen, hallelujah, to go so you can inherit your stuff. Yes. Amen. Your new car. Yes. It's wrapped up in them. Your new house is wrapped up in them. Yes. Your anointing is wrapped up in them. Glory to God. Your children being saved and delivered is wrapped up in them. You can't call nobody at Walmart when your children go to jail. All right. You can call your pastors. Yeah. You can't call nobody at Kroger when your family members down in the hospital sick. But you can call your pastor. That's right. Glory to God. You don't know nobody at Kroger to call if something happened to your family. That's right. But you can call your pastor Amen. at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And you expect him to answer that phone come on and now. come to your rescue. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. So so into him. Amen. Knowing that my man and my woman of God is going to be there for me when I need them. Yes. You know, glory to God. Amen. But they're the ones that's going to speak into your life. Yes. Amen. So I encourage you, hallelujah, that you should be living by your gift. Yes. Amen. Stand up for your man and your woman of God. Yes. Amen. Because they are God's mouthpiece yes. in the earth. For you. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you tonight.